Meghan's on message. Duchess wears a £1,900 cocktail dress by a feminist designer as she gives a stirring speech to mark 125 years since women were given the vote in New Zealand. The Duchess of Sussex is known for choosing fashion with a purpose during her public engagements, and today she did it again in her choice of dress for a significant speech at Government House in New Zealand. Pregnant Meghan, 37, stunned in a navy cocktail dress by New York-based Gabrielle Hurst, modified to include delicate cap sleeves. The original spaghetti strap dress cost £1,900. AUD 3, 430 slash 2495 US dollars, although Meghan's bespoke version is likely to have come at a higher price. It's not the first time Meghan has chosen a piece from Gabe Ireland Hurst, who is known for her sustainable practices and weaving political statements into her creations. Previous collections have been inspired by feminists, such as U.S. political activist Angela Davis and Senator Kamala Harris, while she also created a line of handbags as a tribute to working women of the 1940s. The Duchess previously sported a £1,685 handbag from the trendy New York designer when she paid her first official visit to Sussex with Prince Harry earlier this month. During her stirring speech, Meghan told guests at Government House, Women's suffrage is about feminism, but feminism is about fairness. Suffrage is not simply about the right to vote but also about what that represents. The basic and fundamental human right of being able to participate in the choices for your future. Meghan's evening outfit was a marked change from the bargain high street design she sported on arrival in Wellington earlier in the day. Stepping off the Royal New Zealand Air Force plane in Wellington, Meghan sported an affordable black Asus maternity dress costing just £35, teamed with a Karen Walker trench coat. Throughout the tour, the Duchess has favoured high-end labels with suitably eye-watering price tags for her first major overseas tour. The couple arrived in Wellington from the Cindy this morning, and were warmly greeted by New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and Wellington Mayor Justin Lester. The couple were quickly whisked away in a silver Mercedes bearing the number plate Royal One and taken to nearby Government House for a traditional welcome which included dances, speeches and a very intimate greeting. But an official reception was disrupted by a fire alarm following the public walkabout. On Friday she wowed in a two-loss cru de India dress embellished with a black bird pattern estimated to have cost £10,000. She's also sported creations by Roxanda and Brandon Maxwell as well as tens of thousands worth of jewellery and accessories. The total cost of her wardrobe thus far has exceeded £80,000 and she's predicted to hit the £100,000 mark by the time she and Harry fly home on Friday.